Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you a fix for a pretty long-standing problem when it comes to running Firefox in desktop environments with dark themes. Now this is a pretty long-standing problem. It's been around for as long as I can remember. I don't know if it's a problem with Firefox or whether or not it's a problem with just dark themes in general but it's not too difficult to fix. That being said though, it did take me some time to, to actually discover the fix on the ArchWiki, so I'm actually gonna be presenting it to you today in video form. Uh, okay, so a, an illustration of the problem, you can see here I've got youtube.com, uh, and if I type in something in the search bar, you can see that there's a very light gray on the white field that is the search, um, you know, in the search bar. This is really quite inconsistent because I have seen dark text on dark backgrounds in input fields as well. So it just seems to be a bit of a mishmash. So I'm going to call upon our good old friend of the command line terminal. Now, um, when you open up a command line terminal, it will probably put you into your home directory. But failing that, you can just do CD space and then the tilde key and that'll put you into your home directory. Okay, so now what you've got to do is get into the right directory to solve this problem. So you need to go into cd space dot mozilla forward slash firefox and then type ls to find out what's in that folder now you're going to see a few files that you probably won't recognize and then your the profile directories of your firefox profiles now most people will only ever have one firefox profile as you can see here i've got quite a few so the one that I want to um, solve the problem on is the TweetDeck profile in the top left of the little uh, ls search there. Um, so I can just type cd space and then I'm going to select the uh, the directory there and I'm going to press Control shift and c to copy it, Control shift and v to put it straight into the command line there and go into that uh, that folder there. Now what we're going to need to do is make a directory called Chrome, mkdir space Chrome, cd space Chrome to enter the directory. Uh, and then what we need to do is nano user content .css. Now this needs to be case sensitive. The only capitalization in user content .css is the capital C there. And this pulls us up with a blank text document, effectively, or a blank CSS file. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy and paste from my second monitor. And then I'm going to paste into this, this code. I will put a link to this code. This code will be in the description as a link. Uh, what it does, as you can see through the code there, is that it de-styles and it removes the styling from some of the faulty elements that uh, the dark themes bring to the table. So I'm going to save that and that's just control X to quit and then just a Y to save. Now I've just restarted the Firefox browser and as you can see if I type hello into the search that is dark text on a white search field. So that is problem solved. Now you will have to do this for every single one of your Firefox profiles if you use multiple Firefox profiles. If you don't know what that means, then that almost certainly doesn't apply to you. Um, and uh, it's a nice way of solving the problem that doesn't require installing add-ons or, or anything like that. It's just a just a bit of uh, just a bit of extra code that you need to put into a somewhat f awkwardly located directory. But anyway, I hope this has helped somewhat. I apologize that it's kind of through the command line and perhaps not as eloquent as it could have been, but I will put um, a text supplement in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and that's about it for me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.